Thank you, Angelo. As he who have introduced me, my name is Norris Norbert, and I'm currently um, the Master's uh, of Civil Engineering student at Cleveland State University in uh, Ohio, as in the United States of America. For most, I would like to take this opportunity to also introduce uh, my supervising uh, professors, Dr. Emanuel Kidando and Dr. Jacqueline, Jack, Jacqueline Jenkins. The uh, thesis to be the research to be presented is actually my thesis, uh, my ongoing thesis. And uh, for most, thank you to the Sumo community for having us, accepting us uh, present our work. So to begin with, as I had as a heads up, this is uh, more of a uh, application uh, type of research. We're not uh, developing uh, any uh, algorithm as opposed to our previous presenters. So without further ado, the project is titled uh, Utilizing Vehicle Trajectory Data, which is probe data for connected vehicles to characterize uh, performance measures on a highway corridor with incidents. So that we're doing this from um, simulation point of view. And um, in this project, we use uh, crowd sales data from Streetlight, a very innovative company that um, offers, we use the tiny movement counts and uh, travel time data that they have acquired over time and used uh, a little bit of big data analytics into um, coming up with this um, uh, uh, data. So we use this data particularly for calibrating our model. Um, so with this presentation, I shall introduce the project problem and the objective of this study, as well as present a similar simulation framework and uh, our connectivity framework, which is from Omnet++ and Bain's um, simulation. And uh, I shall conclude by stating the current status of the project and our anticipated fund findings. So the problem at hand is uh, traditionally uh, any incident occurring on the road has been um, traditionally reported by um, traffic users, well, they call the, uh, it being the police, uh, and then the uh, traffic management centers will come to interview later on. So this uh, procedure has proven to be um, time consuming and um, the mitigation measures would not be as effective and implemented early. So as of late, there have been uh, various automated signal performance measures that are developed from static based uh, detectors as it can be seen from the pictures here. Also this uh, method is also grown and uh, become very useful, but um, most of the performance measures are statically based and within the vicinity of an intersection. Furthermore, there have been a growing use of um, uh, high fidelity or vehicle trajectory data from uh, crowd source data or devices such as uh, cell phones or connected vehicles. They share the data, location-based uh, data, um, and uh, which is later analyzed and uh, meaningful performance measures such as travel time, arrival, uh, delay, and uh, arrivals on green, red are, are obtained from, from, from this data. So for this research, we propose um, the application from a simulation point of view. So, we, as a contribution from this project, we propose a calibration approach where you use the crowd source data accumulated over time by streetlight uh, data. We also develop uh, our incident where we, we, we want an, an incident to occur on the corridor and then um, develop different performance measures to visualize that incident. Um, but well, well, those are the three main objectives that uh, we're going to present. So our simulation framework from SUMO, as I uh, mentioned by our previous uh, presenters, we use the OSM web wizard, wizard to obtain various um, uh, simulation uh, files. And basically our network is, um, is in Cleveland or um, just downtown Cleveland close to the university where I'm going. And uh, it's a corridor of with four signalized intersections. So we use OSM web with it to obtain the network files, the RAP files, and other files to simulate the network. So we also use cross source uh, streetlight data, as I mentioned, the turning movement counts, as well as the travel time for um, the model calibration and uh, validation. And um, we use, well, the algorithm used to calibrate is the Kobila optimization algorithm. 
uh, some of you might be familiar with this algorithm. It has been uh, it was used in a famous sumo tutorial, uh, uh, San Pablo Dam tutorial. <clears throat> so the Kubler algorithm for optimization uh, basically has the objective functions to minimize the uh, difference with the squares of the observed and the simulated travel time from the simulation. So we had a, we adopted a, a closed travel model and uh, its parameters. We had uh, different parameters and the range of the parameters. When we run the optimization algorithm, these were the optimal values that were obtained. So we'll just uh, plug it into the sumo net edit, uh, net edit interface and uh, we're ready to use our calibrated model. So initially before calibration, we got the travel time from um, Sumo and the travel time that we got from Streetlight. And uh, we kind of plotted the distribution. We see uh, the medium values to be uh, quite um, um, quite far apart. But after calibration, the medium values were quite um, comparable. Now, a little bit of uh, more calibration still required. We still... Um, we are yet to acquire uh, signalization that intersection serialization that so we can synchronize the um, intersection cycle, cycle cycle length. With that, we anticipate to have um, a better fit of the uh, calibrated travel, travel time and the simulated travel time. As I mentioned, this is just a snapshot of the uh, streetlight data interface where you can actually get turning movement count. This might be an advantage to the uh, sumo community in particular. Um, uh, calibration is such a challenging step. Uh, luckily, um, vendors such as Twitter data offer tiny movement counts, which are proven to be actually accurate. So in times like um, the pandemic times where uh, we anticipate the flow of traffic to be naturally um, disturbed. So it is not quite feasible to go on site and collect uh, uh, the tiny movement counts, count vehicles. They may not... Uh, reflect the reality. So uh, using data that has been uh, acquired over time and um, processed, we can uh, obtain the turning movement counts that can be used for the calibration of various um, sumo simulation uh, models, depending on the problem. Um, you can also get the, the, uh, the peak time for your problem and uh, all the movements that you, you require. Um, Yes, so after calibrating the model, we the next step was just to validate. We use the GH, the common GH statistic for comparison um, of uh, the tiny movement count, the volumes. And um, well, the GH statistic was found to be uh, below five, which is a good match for all intersections, tiny movement counts, the east, west, north, and southbound um, uh, movements. So the next uh, part of this project was to develop a simulation for, for connectivities. And uh, with this project, the connectivity is between the connected vehicles and, uh, and the roadside units, as well as the traffic control center. So to do this, we used Omnet and Veins, uh, which are famously known tools for connectivity simulation. So it was assumed that the cars have their onboard unit and uh, to to create a connected vehicle module in uh, Omni++. Uh, basically, uh, close to four files are needed, which is the .cc file, the hash file, and the uh, network description file for those familiar with the uh, Omni++ uh, simulation tool. So an algorithm was written for, for the um, connected vehicle car module. And uh, the non-connected vehicle car module does not have any um, communication in this um, simulation. However, the non-connected uh, car vehicles are affected by the um, by the actions of the connected vehicle. So, if they detect an accident, they slow down. The non-connected vehicles are also expected to to do the same. So, prior to that, a roadside unit module was also created, and basically, its uh, function is to collect the data from the connected vehicles. A connected vehicle detects an accident, and then it sends the accident to the roadside unit, process the data. Uh, the roadside unit, sorry, stores the data and sends it to the traffic control center. So, all of the data processing is done actually in the traffic control center, and then back to the RSU and then back to the vehicles 
and uh, instructing the vehicles uh, on the appropriate respons responsive um, behavior. It being changing a lane, uh, rerouting, stopping, or warning other vehicles in the platoon. So this is also the algorithm for the traffic control center. Basically, at this point, the algorithm basically just um, stores the data. So we also collect the data from here for further um, um, processing of the data and developing of the performance measures. <clears throat> so the next step was to create an accident uh, or incident, which is the integral part of this uh, project uh, algorithm. So basically, the algorithm, we define an accident. And then uh, the vehicle detects an accident. And basically, the basic response uh, mechanism right now is for the vehicle to slow down uh, and stop safely and proceed once the, uh, the accident has, uh, has cleared. Uh, but upon detecting an accident, we want the vehicle to send that accident to sending warning to other vehicles to slow down or stop as well and send the uh, warning to the RSU. So we're limited to um, the, the behavior. Um, well, this using the car changing um, function, behavior changing, car changing behavior function from Sumo. So we limited the, the response to be just uh, slow down or stop. We did not um, want, uh, we did not implement any uh, route changing or lane changing um, uh, behavior. Although it can be done, which we just want to for experimental control. So, uh, so far, the current status of the project is to develop um, uh, developed simulation framework where, um, from Sumo as well as the connectivity with, um, with um, Omnet++. Uh, the future steps will be now to come up with qualitative uh, performance measures such as the time-space diagram. Uh, but we also want to superimpose the time-space diagram with um, Sumo's um, safety surrogate measure outputs such as um, time to collision, uh, DRAC values and post encroachment time, PET. But also we want to come up with a quantitative performance measures such as delay travel time during population that result from an incident occurring on the, on the, on the corridor. So just to... Um, just to display um, a quick view of the, of the communication between vehicle. Here we have a roadside unit. Here we have a roadside unit and we have vehicles flowing and the communication between vehicles once um, um, an accident actually occurs. So that's it for the presentation. Um, thank you for having us.